Once upon a time, a spoiled and shallow princess lived in the castle with her mother, the queen. I don't think I'm spoiled and shallow. I just think that I have high standards and expect others to live up to them. Her mother, the queen, was a good queen, but she liked to spoil her daughter with gifts. My dear, this is for you. Ooh, gimme, 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 gimme. A ball? You're giving me a ball? You have this whole kingdom and you're just giving me a ball? It is a toy. Play with it. You will have much fun. At least that's what the salesman said. Really? Play with this thing? How does that work? I believe you toss it up into the air and catch it. And then you do it again, and again, and again. Seems kind of weird, but all right, I'll give it a try. Uh, that wasn't too bad. <laughs> you were right, Mother. This is quite fun. Then go, dear, and have fun playing with your new gift. Oh, so, okay, you're just going to throw me out? So, I was just going to play with you here, but I guess you want me to go right now, so, okay. And so the princess went outside. The princess began to play with the ball outside by the royal pond. She played and played. This ball is awesome. Not only can you catch it, but it bounces too. And so the princess had fun bouncing and catching the ball. But then something bad happened. The ball got away from her. Oh no, the ball has gotten away from me. But it was too late and the ball went into the pond. The ball has gone into the pond. No! No! The princess wailed and cried, for the ball was out of reach. No, my beloved gift. The ball is gone and out of reach. I would give anything to get it back. I would even give my kingdom to get it back. At that moment, a frog appeared in the pond. So, you dropped your ball, did ya? Silence, ugly frog, and do not tease me. Oh, I'm not teasing you. I thought maybe I could offer my assistance. Assistance? What sort of assistance could a frog give a princess? Well, you want your ball back, don't ya? I can swim and get the ball and give it back to you. Wait a minute, frogs can swim? Oh yeah, get it for me immediately. And so the frog jumped into the water to retrieve the ball. Make sure you don't pop it or anything, frog. Be careful. The frog retrieved the ball, but then he held on to it. Frog, why are you not returning my ball immediately? It is my property. First, you must agree to let me in the castle. A frog in the castle? Never. Well then, I'll just put this right back in the pond where I found it. Wait, don't. Fine, I'll let you in the castle. And so the frog gave the ball to the princess. My ball! I got the ball back! Yeah! Yeah! Now you must keep your word and let me come to the castle. I'm not keeping my word to a frog, especially now since I got the ball back. So long, sucker! The frog was disappointed, but not surprised. He had a plan. I have a plan. And so the princess returned to the castle with her ball. Oh, hello, dear. Are you done playing outside? Yeah, I had a few sketchy moments where I thought that the ball was going to be lost, but I got it back because I'm so cunning and smart. You didn't make any promises to any frogs or anything, did you? Wow, she's good. Oh, no, no, nothing like that. Funny that you even ask. Because remember, dear, we should always keep our promises. Words to live by. Hey, can we eat? And so the queen and the princess headed to the royal kitchen for their meal. As the two began eating their royal meal, there came a knock at the door. Hark! There is a knock at the door. Hey, footman, go see who it is. Uh, aye, aye, sir. Uh, I mean, yes, your majesty. A thousand pardons, a thousand pardons. Any idea who that could be at the door, my dear? Absolutely no idea. I'm not expecting anyone. Your Majesty, uh, there is a frog at the front door who says he was invited. Should I let him in? A frog at the door? Dear, do you know anything about this? I don't know nothing about a frog. 
Now, dear, the frog said he was invited. Are you sure you didn't invite a frog today? Oh, 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 frog! I thought you said dog. Yeah, it would be silly to invite a dog to the castle. Yeah, I, I did, but in my defense, I don't think he would actually show up. Footman, you may allow the frog to enter. Yes, your majesty. A thousand pardons, a thousand pardons. The princess was upset because she thought the frog was ugly and disgusting and did not belong in the castle. Are you sure that you really want a frog in the castle? We should welcome all into the castle with open arms, especially if they have been invited. And so the frog appeared at the dinner table. Hello, your majesties. Hello, little frog. What brings you here? Your daughter dropped a toy ball into the pond, and I retrieved it. And in return, she invited me to the castle. Uh, it's common courtesy, right? Frog, do sit with us and eat. Don't mind if I do, as I'm not very hungry. May I merely finish what is on your daughter's plate? Ew, Mom, the frog wants to eat off my plate. I see no problem with this. And so the frog began gobbling up the food from the princess's plate. Oh, this is so disgusting. The queen was delighted. The frog has quite an appetite, does he not? The frog ate and ate, and when he left the plate, there was not a single morsel left. Thank you, your majesty. Well, I guess you'll be heading back to the old pond or swamp or wherever you frogs go. But dear, you seem to be rushing our guest out the door and he has just barely arrived. Is there anything else you would like, dear sir? Funny you should ask, because after a nice fine meal like the one I just ate, I do like to take a nice long nap. Ew! Mummy! A frog napping in our house? Ew! Tell him to go away! Now, dear, we must be good hosts. Of course you can stay. Choose any room you wish. And so the frog hopped down the hallway. Thank you. Seems like such a nice little fellow, doesn't he? I'd better go check where he's staying. I just don't like the idea of a frog loose hopping around the house and napping wherever he wants. And so the princess went searching for the frog. When the princess arrived to her own room, she had a nasty surprise. There sat the frog in her favorite resting spot. You! That's my favorite resting spot. Get out of there! But your own mother said I could choose any spot I wanted to nap. And this is the spot I have chosen. We have this whole castle. Hundreds of bedrooms, and you chose my favorite resting spot. You're just trying to mess with me, man. Well, if perhaps you would like me to go speak to your mother again about the matter, I'm sure we can come to an arrangement. You know what my mom's gonna say. Oh, we need to be good hosts. Let the frog sleep wherever he wants. Fine, you can sleep there, but it doesn't mean I'm gonna like it. There you go. And do you mind get me a glass of water? I like to have a glass of water before I get a nap. Don't push it, bub. And so the spoiled princess went to one of the other rooms to sleep. But try as she might, she could just not get comfortable. Ugh, I'm never going to get any sleep here, stupid frog. And so the princess went back to her own room. Hey, scooch over or something. I gotta watch some TV. I just can't get to sleep. Don't mind me. But still, the princess was not satisfied. <gasps> There's nothing good on TV. I'm getting kind of sleepy. And so the princess drifted off into a deep slumber. <coughs> They slept all night, but in the morning, the princess awoke with a surprise. You? You're still here? Were you staring at me all night? No, I just woke up myself. 
Well, great. You got to have your meal, you got to see the castle, and you got to sleep here. So I do believe it's time for you to go. Well, not quite. There's just one more thing. Oh, there's always one more thing. Okay, what is it? Fine, we'll take care of it. We'll get you out of here. I would like a kiss. A kiss? Oh, yeah, sure. We'll have the footman do that. Um, footman, come here and kiss the frog. No, not the footman. I mean you. I want a kiss from you. Well, get in line, Buster. A lot of guys want a kiss from me. I'm the beautiful princess. Um, did somebody say they needed me to kiss a frog or something? Oh, yeah, footman. Oh, yeah, frog. Um, give him a kiss. Yeah, he's not a bad looking guy. Oh, no. I want a kiss from the princess. Perhaps we should ask your mother what she thinks. Fine. Footman, be on your way. I don't want anyone else seeing this. Uh, oh, yeah, yes, your majesty. A thousand pardons, a thousand pardons. But then the frog became shy. Um, how do we do this? Uh, I've never been kissed by a beautiful princess before. Well, I've never kissed a frog, and if you tell anyone about this, my mother and I will be having frog legs for dinner tomorrow. Understood. I won't tell anyone. Come on. And so the princess leaned in and gave the frog a quick kiss on his forehead. Blech. Oh man, I gotta go brush my teeth or something. What? The frog had transformed. <gasps> kitty! I'm not a kitty, I'm a prince. Kitty! <sighs> Fine kitty it is. What happened to the frog? <sighs> I am the frog. Or I should say I was the frog until you kissed me. I do not understand. Please explain. A wicked enchantress put a spell on me. She turned me from a prince into a frog, and there I was to remain. Wait, so you're the frog that got my ball out of the pond? Yes, the very same. He was kind of a jerk about it, though. Oh, was he, though? As much of a jerk as you have been to me? Yeah, I guess I have been kinda rude, but in my defense, I thought you were a frog. That's no defense. You should treat everyone nice, whether they're a frog or a prince. Jeez. So, as long as you're a kitty or prince now, um, are you gonna be staying a little bit, please? Mm, yes, I think I shall. It's been a while since I've been in a castle. I'd like to stay a few days. Maybe I'll even get to know you a little better. And so the princess was delighted. And the princess and the prince spent much time together over the coming days. The more time they spent together, the more the prince learned about the princess. And the more the princess learned about the prince. Yeah, you're not so bad after all. And I have learned how selfish and spoiled I was in the past. Wouldst thou like to stay a little longer? Yeah, thou wouldst. In fact, could you call your mother here? But of course. Oh, mother. Ah, so how is my frog turned into kitty? I mean, prince. Well, your hospitality has been without equal, but I have one more request. Anything you wish, your majesty. Yes, anything you wish, it shall be yours. Yeah, I was thinking the princess and I could get married, you know? I should very much like that. Mother, may we? Of course, my dear, for you have learned to look past appearances and see what is truly important inside a person. Oh, thank you, Mother. Did you hear that, good prince? We shall be wed. I did, I did hear, and it makes me very happy. And so the princess and the frog, who had turned into a kitty, I mean prince, lived happily in the castle ever after. So that was the end of that fairy tale. If you like it and you want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe to Baby Teeth 4. And hit that like button. That way you'll keep getting to see our content. And don't forget to subscribe to our other channels, Baby Teeth More, 
and the Jillian and Addy channel. They're a lot of fun. Thanks for watching, everybody. Goodbye. Kitty. Two hands at once.